As we travel around the world and continue to experience new people and cultures and new parts of familiar ones, we've come to believe that one of the most important windows into any culture is their food. When you couple that with our love of a good meal, it's only natural that we would constantly search for the absolute best of the best for where to eat in every place we visit. While we truly love five-star dining experiences and are always grateful on the rare opportunities we have to avail ourselves of them, we're generally much more interested in the less glamorous, yet no less delicious offer of street food carts and small restaurants the world over. A couple of our categories from today's list may seem slightly off topic, such as best pizza, best burger, and best frappuccino, but we feel they have earned their places as special treats available to anyone walking by or just craving something a little different on any given day. We put out our top places to eat list over a year ago before the pandemic began to take its toll on local businesses. In the interim, some of our previous favorites have closed or changed dramatically. We hope you don't consider this an insult to anyone who isn't included on our list. We just want to recognize the absolute best options available at the current time. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? So without further ado, let's start the day off right with best breakfast. This was a really difficult category for us to pick just one, so we've gone with a three-way tie. Elements of the Island has an amazing offering of European-inspired potatoes, eggs, muesli, and fruit. Fruit's very fresh. <laughs> Coupled with coffee, toast, and delicious homemade jams. This one's pineapple, coconut, and banana. That one is red fruits and mango. And they actually have homemade hash browns. So the breakfasts at Elements of the Island get a definite thumbs up from everybody. They are absolutely fantastic. The service and ambiance are just amazing and they certainly belong at the top of any breakfast list. M&J Consuela serves up a unique and absolutely delicious omelet casserole style dish they call a Consuela with toppings like ham and cheese, asparagus and chaya, shrimp or mushroom and salami. There's something for everyone. Each bubbling hot dish of deliciousness is served with tortillas or toast. We worked our way around the menu and didn't manage to bump into anything that wasn't absolutely delicious. Any day that starts here is off to a very good start. Rounding out our three-way tie for first place is Tacos Tumbra in the Mercado Municipal, stall number four, which is the last one on the right. The prices here are pretty darn good. Offering a large variety of egg and breakfast dishes, they have something to fit any taste. My personal favorite is the Mexican omelet with ham and cheese. While my favorites are the huevos divorciados, which is divorced eggs, it's half red and half green. I really like their black beans. I think they're the best on the island. Or when I'm craving something sweet, hot cakes with bacon and maple syrup. Each meal is served with tortillas and their table pico de gallo, which is the best we've tried anywhere on the island. I love pico de gallo. This has habanero in it. It's really hot. It's very fresh and it has a lot of flavor. Highly recommend this place. Next up is Best Lunch, where we have another tie, but at least this one's only a two-way. Returning from our breakfast list is Tacos Tumba. They sport the best sopa de lima currently available on the island. I tried their sopa de lima and it's fantastic. As well as a large and delicious array of other lunch offerings. Our favorite is the pork chuk, which is a Mayan style pork chop. Our other top finisher in the best lunch category is Rostisseria La Mexicana, where they only do one thing, but they do it supremely well, and that's pollo asado, roasted chickens. Each perfectly roasted bird is chopped up with shears and accompanied with tortillas, beans, salsa, soup, rice, and sometimes pasta. For 165 pesos, you get spaghetti, rice, beans, salsa, onions, and soup. They consistently put out the best pollo asado we've had anywhere on Isla Mujeres and are always a top choice for lunch. This is the best rotisserie chicken on the island. Best roasted chickens on the island. Word of warning, don't wait once you've decided to go because once they sell out of chickens, they're gone for the day. Glad to see this place is still here. We promise there are no more ties for the rest of the list. Our choice for best dinner on a budget is Margarita's on Juarez. With a menu full of affordable, delicious local options, we quickly became daily visitors to this local gym. The homemade habanero table salsa is absolutely amazing. The panucho, salbutes, nachos, fish fillets, pork chops, and soups are all equally delicious. These are panuchos. They're tortillas with beans in the middle. These panuchos are really good. My first criteria with nachos is homemade tortillas, and these have them. From our experience, you really can't go wrong with a visit to Margarita. The proprietor is absolutely delightful and regaled us with tales of days gone by and his impressive culinary knowledge. We were always greeted like old friends and fed like family. And this place is super affordable. It's average between two to five dollars a plate. 
Now for some of our specialty categories. We start off with one closest to my heart, best burger. Sometimes I just crave a good burger and they're astonishingly hard to find. So many places mix so many other things in with the burger patty, it becomes more like meatloaf than a burger. Well, not to worry on Isla Mujeres because Jax has you covered. Their all beef burgers are consistently fabulous and always accompanied with delicious crispy fries. When you absolutely positively have to have a burger, you better head to Jack's. Now that is a good hamburger anywhere in the world. We love guacamole. We absolutely adore great guacamole. However, great guacamole is surprisingly difficult to come across at restaurants around here. So the next time you're craving an absolutely amazing serving of guacamole, head on down to Los Tacos de Humo on Juarez. This is not just the best guac on the island. It's some of the best we've ever had anywhere. The standard is delicious, but the chef's special that boasts both mango and chipotle is out of this world. Served with delicious homemade chips, this guac is good for an appetizer or even a whole meal. This is about twice the price of other guacamole on the island. It's also over twice the size. Add to that that it is the best guacamole that I've ever had in my life. That gives a thumbs up and a thumbs up. We've tried pretty much every pizza on the island, both on and off camera. And for us, the absolute best pizza, be it regular, gluten-free, always comes from Oscars. The toppings, the sauce, the crust, the overall flavor has always been great from Oscars and they will continue to be our go-to pizza joint on those rare occasions, or not so rare occasions, that we're craving pizza. This is really good pizza. When we're talking about the best salad on the island, make no mistakes, we are not talking about a vegetarian option. We are talking about the full meal size Jack's Cobb salad. Consistent quality, giant chunks of chicken, delicious blue cheese, fresh crispy veggies. Look at the size of those chunks of chicken on that salad. I mean, look at that. We're pretty sure you're not saving any calories by having a salad for your meal, but it's so delicious you won't even care. That was fantastic. When it's one of those sweltering hot days, you know the ones where you just come off the beach, you're sandy and hot, and you think, I want a milkshake, but I also want some coffee. Head on down to Aroma Isla for the best frappuccino on this lovely little island. With great service and wonderful coffee, it's a no-brainer that this is our favorite cafe. It's also located right along Hidalgo, so the people watching can be pretty interesting as well. For our favorite beach snack, it's the Degui's Paleta Guy. You'll see him lugging his cart up and down the beach ringing his bell. Walk on over and get a popsicle or paletta from him, you will never be disappointed. We hope you find this list useful. Please let us know what you think of our choices and your experiences in the comments section down below. Also, if you have any favorites that you think we really need to try, please let us know and we'll do our very best to check them out. As always, thank you so much for watching. We are always honored you choose to spend your time with us. I'd like to thank everybody, well, we would like to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel. <laughs> And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's free to you, but really helps your channel grow. So mash that subscribe button and don't forget to like. Keep drinking this coffee. <laughs> Leave the thumbs up and subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>